Hi, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lucia. Today, I will chat about my thoughts about love and enlightenment. I'm currently 29 years old. During the past decade, I had achieved some sort of mature self-sufficiency and independency. The desire for love and attachment has always been a perpetual question for me for a decade. I will share with you about my thinking, my view, and how to improve the condition. If you have anything to share or to tell, please comment down below. Let's get started. First, let's talk about my earlier time. During my teenage and early adult life, I heard a lot of things of finding a good person to marry, seeking the other half, waiting for the true love. That marriage makes people complete. In fairy tales, the prince and the princess overcome numerous obstacles to be together. The atmosphere in the society tell me that getting into a relationship is good, being popular is good, having friends is great, and being in marriage is necessary. I also tried to date people in my early twenties, but which didn't work so well. I had to say it feels like something is not quite right. Also, I'm in a changing phase of my life. Internally, I just cannot take it very deeply. Sometimes I was acting like someone else, giving up some of my characteristic, or maintaining something really hard. It just did not feel right. At the moment, since we are living in a closed community, you can imagine college or high school. I was always thinking it was my incompetency that I cannot hold the relationship, that I cannot follow the value that most people believe saying and doing. So for a couple of years, I truly believed this was my problem. A big shock coming of me, but is that the truth? When I think back, even the relationship is not true love, but I want more like validation from others, from boys, from other girls, or even my family who want me to marry early, and the societal value that overvalued the importance of marriage, love, relationship, attachment, and they may say being alone, being single is a bad thing, but. When I become cooler in mind, I start to realize why is other people's thoughts matter? Why is other people's thoughts about our personal life matter? Right? Why not validate ourselves instead of seeking validation externally? It is very simple. It is our private business. We need to love ourselves first. This is like my first aha moment. Be chill, and we are not going to miss love. Instead, we are moving towards the real love. I had to admit that my previous understanding of love and relationship during school arises from a sense of inner lack, incompleteness, insecurity, and immaturity. Here is the catch: the emptier and more insecurity in the heart, the stronger the desire, the validation, emotional craving, and vanity become. At previous time, I really hope I can meet someone who can fulfill my desires, treat me well, make me look well in the crowd, and fill the void. Yeah, if I have that opinion, it's easier for me to be in a relationship, but further to the true happiness. Because of this inner weakness, I seek to find someone to feel it as a form of external validation. It is as if we are all seeking to complete ourselves from the outside, but something uncontrollable. The happiness is not about finding a right and a wrong person. It is that as long as we continue to long for true love and place hopes in another person, apparently who should not be controllable by us. This can lead to unsafety and unhappiness perpetually. So, in that case, should we chase after love? What is better love? I remember many years ago, I see a saying that goes, "A wise man does not fall in love easily, but a fool is trapped by his feeling." Or to say, "A wise man does not step into the river of indulgence," which I feel very arrogant at that time. But now I have a different opinion. The so-called wise are those who are self-complete and self-consistent. They have an immense sense of fulfillment, so they don't have a tendency to take from others. Instead, they are solid and inclined to give. They practice the idea of benefiting myself and benefiting others, loving myself and loving others, 
helping oneself and helping others. It's important when a person truly learns to love themselves and matures, can they love others better? That's why I say we are chill about getting love outside, but we are moving towards love. On the contrary, the so-called fool is the person fall into relationship and emotions prematurely. Well, here the premature is not about age. In the beginning, they give all the things they have, giving up their styles to get what they want. But once their initial desires are fulfilled, they start feeling insecure, unstable, and demand more. This causes people joining each other and may fall into conflict. And sometimes they even spend a lot of time hating each other. Here, what we commonly call love, in many cases, is just a cover of mutual harm. Like we previously said, in a fairy tale, the prince and princess may overcome numerous obstacles to be together. But fortunately, the fairy tale usually ends there, without talking about how much reason we need to remain a happy marriage. Some believes love can be a reflection of our inadequacies, such as the better half thingy. People with unfulfilled hearts expecting other person to compensate for their shortcomings. Unfortunately, there is no one in the world prepared for us as a better half to steadily fulfill our void. Neither we should control others. True wisdom lies in not expecting from outside, but self fulfillment. Better love is a journey of self discovery, understanding, and growing together. If you enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumb up and subscribe to our channel. If there is anything on your mind, please comment down below. Thank you for listening. Hope you enjoy it, and I will see you again soon.